Welcome back, friends. I'm Eric, and today we are watching Miss Marvel. From the moment I heard about Kamala Khan, I really liked the concept, and when the show was announced, I actually went to read a few Miss Marvel comics just for fun, and a few comics turned into all of them, and she became my favorite superhero. She's very much in the same vein as Spider-Man having to balance school life with her secret identity, but she's a girl, and she's also a person of color. And she's a politically minded hero as well. One of my favorite little moments was when she did a get out the vote uh, campaign to help a grassroots politician defeat someone who was deeply, deeply corrupt. And yeah, I really, really love that. I haven't kept up with her comics since I literally read all of them, but I'm excited to see this take on her. Hopefully it'll make me love this character even more. Full reactions can be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps the channel, and let's get started. Ooh. Love this song. Oh, wow. Finally, the moment everyone has been waiting for. The Avengers were trying to save the world, but if we're being honest here, they were losing. Due to my extensive research and my diligent studying of Scott Lang's podcast interview. <laughs> Scott Bye. Lang Bye. interview? She punched Thanos right in the face. <laughs> Adventure Con. I'm going to be as Captain Marvel, obviously. Next week, I'm going to kick off a special two-part series of Aww. Thor is secretly a gamer. Remember, new episodes drop he every is. week. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe at Slap Baby. She's Cat. a YouTuber. Hurry up. You're going to be late for your driving test. Oh, no, my bad. I can't my bad. oh she lives in New Jersey, so she has to drive. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. Whoa. Really? Wow. Oh no. You set her up to fail, having her drive in the street with all the other cars. I have taught her to drive myself. She immediately your daughter I'm walking home. Oh, this is my fault. This is all my fault. These are my genetics. I mean I come from a long line of fantasizing on realistic daydreams. My mother was one. Across the river. Camellia. Glad you're not bruising from that. Camellia? Grab my chem textbook. Alright, we're in the middle of something. What's that? Out the way. I'll Google the Yeah. We don't need your likes. Don't move it. Plenty of people fail a driver's test. I crashed my cart into his cart. <laughs> oh. That's on you. Yeah. Uh, so I guess we're not con. No, 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 no. Oh, Bruno. My costume is near perfect, just pending the final flourish. Final flourish? I'm sorry, I really do love you. You got any plans this weekend? Because as of this morning, Mom and I are free. No. Yeah. Really? Sorry, Zoe. It's fine. I like your jacket. I like your necklace. Kamala Khan, wow. please come to my office ASAP. You've done something very wrong. What? <laughs> it's crazy that the whole school can hear this right now. No, nothing is wrong. I just want to chat. Um, can't wait. P.S. This is Mr. Wilson. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Wow. Well, I hear you've had a hectic couple weeks. Whoa. Very funny. Staring off into space in your little fantasy land. Hey! Oh, really? We truly started the meeting 30 seconds ago. Yes, sorry, Mr. Don't Wilson. berate yeah. her. Junior year, it's time to start really thinking about your future. I mean, college admissions are coming up. Before you know it, it's SATs, it's essays, it's applications. She's on it out. Feels like she has a touch of the ADHD. Oh, no. Do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch or is it like... You're gonna ask yourself, Kamala? Who is that girl I see staring back right staring at me back at me when will my reflection show okay, Kamala, Kamala, who I am right inside now, I know fantasy's fun fantasy is really fun but right now I need you to pull yourself together and join reality it's not gonna be another first Avenger con ever again never yeah they gotta go switch the backup line in Call an Uber. Smile. And you ask her mom. You're an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I'm actually a genius. So can we stop asking, asking her mom? mom. Darth Vader? You think we'll win? Please, we're going. We're conquering. And we're high-fiving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still need to figure out my final flirt. Like comic book stuff. Ooh. Iron Marvel. Ooh, Doctor Strange Marvel. I could yeah. be like... I could, I could like wear a cape. Apes, cool, Tiara. Oh, Captain Princess Marvel. No, Princess Marvel. I'm sorry. Princess Marvel. Zombie Captain Marvel. I could be like, Ooh. Ninja Brain. 
Is that your best option? I also have superpowers. Okay, hey, let's never do this that. This is cool. Again. Is this from Nanny? She doesn't want to die before passing on all her junk to us. Oh. oh man, have you lost your ears? This is so cool. It's so good, you know. <laughs> uh, to be a teenager and have to help out with chores. Ah, uh, halal food. She's off gallivanting through Europe to discover herself. What does she have to discover about herself? Good for her. I mean, she wanted to travel the world and she went for it. <laughs> Designed your own Siri or Alexa. I programmed it to understand Urdu. Urdu? Yeah. Wow. Are you staying for dinner? No, no, I got some work. Okay, I'll pack you something to go. No, no, I'm good. No, no, of course. Aww. Not. The bottom for no now. Oh, okay? Aww. How did you do that so fast? <laughs> <laughs> stick to the gizmos, beta. This is my secret. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. See you soon. No, help her ask. Help her ask. So there's this thing called Avenger Con. You know, it's it's really something incredible. It's, it's never been done before. Is this a joke? No. Is Bruno recording this for internet? Oh my god. No. She's you, you 16. Me. No, I don't trust you. Of course she does. No, I don't. She does. We do. It's just that we don't trust anyone else. Beta, you're still young. And uh. How exactly will you be dressed? As Captain Marvel. Huh? Cap Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is the full <laughs> She's 16. To have to ask permission? Can you help her sneak out for it? I'll talk to them. Really? Yeah, I mean, you look kind of pathetic. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> kind of pathetic. I got you. Aw, uh, are you going to make things worse? I feel like you're going to make things worse. Wow. I really like the way they're shooting this. Ah, don't stop in the middle of the street. Who stops in the middle of an intersection to text? Dot dot dot. Oh wow, this is really cool. Idolizes Captain Marvel. What little flourish can she add? The bangle. We have decided to let you go. What? <laughs> All right, go. Conditions. Conditions. You're up the hell. Ah. Best is yet to come. Oh, just the buggy. Oh my God. <laughs> so cute. Oh my God. This is mortifying. This is mine and Bruno's thing, okay? Come on, buddy. And you can't come with me. Not just like that because it is so humiliating. <sighs> Get me right with that. You're not going to dress up like all those other girls in skimpy outfits. That is not you. Let her decide who she is, and Captain Marvel's outfit is not even the tiniest bit skimpy. You're not going. <sighs> yeah, but maybe they're right. Maybe I spend too much time with fan art. And costumes with my head stuck in fantasy life. You're a kid. Dressing up as Captain Marvel's weird. No, it's not. And it's childish, and I know that, okay? No. And let's be honest. Oh. Really the brown girls from Jersey City who saved the world. <laughs> it can be. Sure they do. You're Kamala Khan. You want to save the world, then you're going to save the world. Aw. With the right equipment, of course. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> Photon gloves. Yeah. Do you want them? Or? Yeah. Aww. <laughs> wow. See? Cosmic. This is cosmic. Get up. We're getting out. We're getting out. Listen, they don't shoot real photon gloves. Whoa. No, I did not. Switch the TV. Oh, yeah. Kamala, please <laughs> tell Bruno the Zuzu is possessed by the evil jinn. He needs to fix it. Idea. Zuzu, television. Idea. This is the plan. Kamala, you're the best sister ever. Honestly, you should have been an only My child. Kamala is the wow. best daughter in the whole wide world. <laughs> oh, stop, please. I'm 
555, I suit up in the greatest Captain Marvel costume the Earth has ever seen, and like, don't worry, it'll be finished by then. I hope. <laughs> you and your fancy Zuzu system are gonna be my oh. So, when there's a knock on the door, don't come in, I'm changing! Yeah. Finally, you being a genius is coming in handy. What do you mean, finally? Finally. Biking off a bridge onto a <laughs> Dream that you're Bruno. Then at 8 p.m., the real reason we're here, the reason I learned to sew and you learned to airbrush the cosplay competition. I win, <laughs> obviously. Collect my crown. I'm assuming it's made of real diamonds. I'll sneak back into my room just before my dad comes in at 9.22 p.m. That's the plan. Got it? Oh, hey, that is a plan, I guess. Does how we get there even matter if you haven't finished your costume yet? Maybe something Pakistani? Aww. It's radiating energy. The day of AvengerCon. Oh, oi, oi! Cheese it! <laughs> it's like, yeah, let's go over. No. Why does it have to be a. Oh, gee oh Jesus. Camp Lehigh. <laughs> wow. This seems like a lot of fun. You're welcome, America. America's ass. Thank you for your sacrifice. I could do this all day. I can do this all day! Captain Marvel. Aww. Is that Zoe? Yeah, her classmate. You're putting stuff on the floor of a bathroom? A public bathroom? Oh, the gloves! Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. What is that? My personal self-expression. Crap, I left it in the bathroom. Final call for contestants to the stage. You gotta go now. No, no, no. Hey, we don't have time. We don't have time. Go, go, go. Go, Bruno. Let's go. Let's go. Whoa. The ba- What is this? They're changing her origin story. For sure, she's not an inhuman. Whoa! What the heck? What the heck? What is this? That's not her power? What? Oi, oi, oi! Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oi. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Oh, yo! She just let her get hit by it? I thought she was gonna get her out of the way. Whoa. What the heck? I think your parents are gonna be in there waiting for you. Whoa. 11 11 That's so much later Where have you been? I'm trying to protect you from yourself. I've seen what happens when people get obsessed with their fantasies. I know, you're just going to tell me some story about Nani. When your rules are too strict. Stop fantasizing. Do you want to be good like we raised you to be or do you want to be some, you know, this cosmic, head-in-the-clouds person? When the rules are too strict, it's inevitable that she's gonna break rules and lie. Ah, it's a fantasy no longer. Cosmic. This is so weird. It's a completely different take on her story. Her powers. 
cosmic powers. She's supposed to be stretchy. Kind of like Mr. Fantastic. Ooh. That was one of the co um, comic covers. There's a post credit scene in the first episode? Check this out. Yeah. Right, track. This is the person who... Took, uh, took in Spider-Man in No Way Home. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, very, very cool first episode. Kamala Khan discovering her powers. They changed her powers so drastically. There's still a hint of her old powers as she created this giant cosmic hand that's stretched out from hers to catch Zoe. But that's just it. It's cosmic. And it comes from the bangle as opposed to coming from her inhuman powers. And I definitely wondered how they would handle her getting her powers since... Uh, forever ago, people were saying that Netflix shows and Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. were no longer canon, but that clearly changed with Daredevil coming back. And I was wondering if Kamala Khan was an Inhuman in this show, because it would pretty much decanonize Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but they went in a different direction entirely. And the bangle is a fascinating way to show her power, because in the absence of Inhuman powers, she needed to get her powers from something, and to have it... Be an heirloom that has to do with her culture and her heritage is a very cool choice. Uh, I can't decide how I feel about the actual powers themselves though, since they're cosmic and not like stretchy. The only reason I can think of it for why they would change it is because they want to differentiate her from Mr. Fantastic whenever he joins the MCU. But I don't know, it does make her power line up more with her hero, Captain Marvel, which would be a nice touch, but I don't know how I feel right now. I think I'll reserve judgment. Uh, for the time being. Uh, I absolutely loved everything else about this episode though. I feel like we get to see the teenage experience much more than even in Spider-Man films. And part of that is definitely the pacing of a TV show compared to movies. But I really, really enjoyed it in here. Uh, they had a lot of comic book flourishes happening, the moving street art, neon signs depicting Kamala and uh, Bruno's conversations through text, and it reminded me a little of the graphic novel flourishes in Heartstopper, but just in a very, very different style and obviously a much higher budget. And yeah, I love how much of the everyday world we've gotten to see in these Marvel TV shows. Last time we saw the Captain America Broadway show in Hawkeye. And of course, of course, there's a convention for Avengers. Uh, no special guest appearances though. None of the Avengers wanted to come. I feel like Scott would eat that attention up for sure. Uh, speaking of Scott, though, an interview on a freaking podcast that is so, so Scott. Uh, love the Hot Ones interview of Paul Rudd. I imagine it's something similar to that. And yeah, I miss Scott. Like, we haven't seen him since Endgame, right? At least not in this universe. I think he was in What If uh, for like three or four episodes, maybe. Uh, but yeah, really appreciating the depiction of this Pakistani family. Uh, I get to complain more about overbearing parents, and they're also really overprotective. Like, she's 16 and isn't allowed to go with her friend to Avengers Con. Um, they don't want her to explore her interests, telling her how much she needs to focus on herself and her future, telling her she needs to not have her head in the clouds and fantasize. I mean... Like, it's not a fantasy. These heroes are real. These heroes are real. They're here. Like, the world is completely different than the one her parents grew up with. And even if she didn't, even if Kamala didn't wind up getting powers, she could have been an expert on heroes. Her YouTube channel was just starting, but I would subscribe if it was real. And yeah, there are a lot of possibilities that could come from her passion about this. And yet, it feels like they're determined to quash her passions when she's 16 years old. <sighs> it's really frustrating. Uh, it does feel like Kamala has a bit of ADHD. Uh, her mother even said it's genetics. She comes from a long line of fantasizers. It could be that her grandmother had some power and that's why she was fantasizing. Maybe she put on the bangle at some point as well. You saw a whole bunch of people when uh, Kamala put on the bangle and slipped into this other universe. Uh, but yeah, ADHD is also genetic. Um, but in their case, it's probably undiagnosed in Kamala and her mother and her grandmother. Uh, I kind of sensed it right away when um, they started talking about it. So seeing Mr. Wilson or Gabe be like, hey, we literally just sat down 30 seconds ago. Like, you gotta pay attention. He, he got it kind of snappy and it kind of sucked to watch. Um, especially since I think in the weeks after I watched Everything Everywhere all at once, I've started to notice that I have some ADHD symptoms as well. Uh, hyperfixation, difficulty focusing, losing my train of thought, pain when my mind is understimulated. 
Um, so yeah, I wonder if that has anything to do with why I watch YouTube videos at like two times or even three times speed sometimes. Anyway, that's unrelated. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Kamala's friends. Uh, I, I loved Nakia in the comics. Zoe is actually a Captain Marvel fan too, but she and Kamala don't get along too well right now. That will probably change in the future. And Bruno was really sweet. He had the laziest Bruce Banner costume, but worked so hard on Kamala's costume for her. And yeah, he even really understood, like, forget the gloves that you left on the bathroom floor and go win this competition. And there's also some romantic tension there too, it's really cute, they're still kids. Um, I mean, they're teenagers, they, they have hormones at this point, but it's cute. Um, the sweetest moment, though, had to be when Kamala said, it's not the brown girls from Jersey who saved the world, and he said, sure they do. You're Kamala Khan. And, ugh. Like, he sees the light in her, She's, he sees the strength in her, and I think that scene was really emotional. Um, but yeah, poor Kamala having to sneak out. When the rules are that strict, there is no choice but to break the rules. Like, that's on the parents, I'm sorry. It's ridiculous that at 16 she can't go out and have a night with her friend at a convention i mean the worst we thing we've seen her do is daydream a little and her yet her mother is like so incredibly distrusting of her that honestly made me sick to my stomach to watch and they did they did try they tried to meet her halfway with dad hulk and it was sweet yet probably a little misguided like no kid wants to have their to be chaperoned at 16, right? It's kind of humiliating. But you also feel really bad for the dad in the moment uh, when she said it would be humiliating because he tried so hard. And even though it's not humiliating in the way that uh, she meant, they felt they felt like they she was ashamed of, her, of them. And uh, that really sucked. Um, I also don't know any cons that start at night. I haven't been to any that's... Or open that late even. Uh, but once we got to Avengers Con, it was pretty fun. Uh, we got to see Avengers ass, America's ass, rather. And a tribute to Natasha and Tony, that was really sweet. Uh, I feel like the world hasn't acknowledged Natasha enough. And so seeing that, her next to Tony, that was really nice. Uh, but this episode definitely sets things up uh, for some interesting dynamics for the rest of the series. Kamala definitely loves her family, but they're also so overbearing. And so she now has to balance... That, with her newfound powers and being a hero, which is going to be so hard to hide given that she's likely grounded after sneaking out. And she's also picked on in school, not one of the popular kids. She has her religion uh, and a different set of expectations put upon her for who she's supposed to be compared to a lot of other kids. Um, and that's in direct conflict for who she wants to be. So we'll see how this all works out. Um, this episode, though, just had so much style and personality, so much color to make everything feel really comic booky, and I'm really looking forward to see where we'll go from here. Can't wait till next week. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps the channel. I'm going to go back to bed. Bye, friends.